Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I said many, many times that there must be, I mean, it's almost impossible to think that uh, there, there are no uh, military contingents, foreign military, military contingents in Ukraine, uh, supporting Ukraine in various activities. Uh, and I'm not talking about the ones that just uh, in suit, uh, counting how many howitzers were donated, but the guys that are choo choo let's go, you go this way, I stay here, let's go stop, and blah, 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 okay? So, uh, I said it because, uh, you know, <laughs> that's uh, how, um, uh, this is what history teaches us, experience and, uh, you know, um, intelligence uh, guide us in figure things out. Obviously, you don't have the evidence, but sometimes some mercenaries slash volunteers are blown up or they're, uh, I don't know, captured and so on, or wounded, and they're all, the, I'm Lithuanian, I'm French, I'm this, I'm that. Or we're all volunteers. Okay, whatever you say. Well, what's your rank? I want to know that one. So anyway, here we have uh, those uh, leaks from the Pentagon. And um, I really don't give up who leaked them. That's some other people's problem. Uh, what I care is finding the truth. And I don't know if those leaks are 100% uh, truthful, but uh, um, they have truth in, in them because people alter their uh, plans of counteroffensive uh, according to the leaks. So that tells me it's kind of like... <clears throat> and uh, there's big, um, how, uh, how should I put it, departments that are involved in investigating who the, um, dumped all that information too lowly us to know certain things. And so that tells me it's kind of like, uh, yeah, there's a leak over there and could be accurate. Now what's accurate? Uh, time will tell. In this case, I made a video, I think it was yesterday, where the leaks uh, state, claim, that there are, um, that based on the communication between these weasels and the reports uh, that the leaks revealed, that there are uh, special troops of various countries like Great Britain, United States, France, uh, Latvian troops, and I would say 100% they are 99%, 0.9% uh, Polish troops over there too, in um, Ukraine doing stuff. Now, special troops, they are not over there, as I said, to, uh, I don't know, uh, play chess or something, okay? But anyway, now we have uh, uh, Kirby, Kirkby, uh, the spokesperson, because he's a person, he's not a man. Uh, he comes and tells us, he confirms that, yes, 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 there are, um, this is how he speaks, there are, um, America has uh, special troops over there, but... As I stated before, they're going to use euphemisms for those special uh, troops. Contingents. And we're not going to attack. Uh, that's a special troops over there going and choo 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 organizing uh, certain kind of attacks by the Ukrainians. No, 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 no. They're over there just to, you know, provide security to our diplomats in Ukraine. <laughs> As I told you, they will come with all kinds of euphemisms like they're over there to make babies or, you know, give a little bit of love or just to. Tell us the weather or if the stars are still up there. That's all they do. And I believe them. All right. So let's move to this article that uh, will tell us all about it. Comes from Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera, I'm sorry. Al Maedin. Al Jazeera is dead and gone. I would say from today, April 13th, 2023. Pentagon leak. Kirkby or Kirk B, however you want to call it, I call it Kirk Bai, it was B-Y, what the hell, you know? Yes, yes, they are, some, shut the, all right, confirms U.S. Special Forces presence in Ukraine. So this Kirk Bai confirms U.S. Special Forces. As the Pentagon document leak probe heats up, White House National Security Council spokes person, <laughs> thank you very much, al Maedin. John Kirkby admits U.S. Special Forces are present in Ukraine. This should have been the end of the whole article and everything else, but he has to do damage control and yeah, yes, but what is this? <laughs> is that her head? <laughs> you nasty mofo, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's not a ball. It's not going to pass the ball. Hey, pass the ball, Kirby. I'm free, I'm free, I'm open, I'm open. No, that's her head, I guess. Look at it. Oh, yes. Nyum, nyum, nyum. All right, enough with BS. When asked about leaked Pentagon documents revealing that there are U.S. Special Forces operating inside Ukraine, White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirkby confirmed to Fox News 
what has been a debate for over a year in people's uh, you know heads and admitted the presence of u.s special forces in the country that's it and i say however damage control here starts alert damage control alert too. Kirk by declined to disclose the specific number of u.s troops on the ground well i agree with that why would you and i'm gonna uh, cite this guy right here um, I, I won't talk uh, um, to the specifics of numbers and uh, that kind of thing. And quote Kirby, Kirkby said, uh, and I'm quoting again, but <clears throat> to get to your uh, exact question, uh, there is a small US military presence at the embassy in conjunction with a defense attache's office to help work on accountability of the material that is going in and out of Ukraine. And Kirby, you tell that to a toddler, okay? But hey, he considers us toddler, so why not? Remember, now when you say a small US military presence, let's talk about that. That's relative to the amount we're talking about. So let's say we have China, 1.5 billion people. And you say, well, um, a small group of uh, Chinese, uh, I don't know, rioted. Well. It's China, or a small group, uh, a small town in China has a problem. Now, what is a small town relative to China? Or well, you know, what the, the group that when you say small to that 1.5 billion could be, I know, 5 billion, 5 billion, Jesus Christ, 5 million. <laughs> anyway, so 5 million people. So, the same when you talk about, let's say, uh, Lithuania, 2.5 million people population. When you talk about, about a small, uh, number of people uh, versus 2.5 million people general population you think about three people but you don't think the same way in a context of of china so the same here when kirk buys a small contingent through the level of the u.s army uh that could be i don't know like uh, 20 000. that's a small contingent and i don't know let's say 150 000 as a average contingent you know what i mean uh he's a small contingent like five or eight or something the leaks gave us a number over there but i don't believe that's uh to be true it's like 20 or something Psst, what are you doing with 20 you know what i mean you can't even guard a uh how do you call that a uh well you anyway outhouse that's how you call it you can guard even a outhouse when kirk by goes over there so let's go back to this article and see the small military presence it's only in the embassy counting shit yeah what do you need anyway Furthermore, the, the top U.S. official attempted to downplay his own re revel revelations by claiming that those soldiers, and I'm quoting, are not fighting on the battlefield. Are they fighting behind? What, where are they? Ahead? Behind? Up? Down? They're not fighting on the battlefield. Okay. In con contradiction, Fox News stated, without citing a source that American soldiers offer undefined security services. I'm pretty sure they, uh, as I said before uh, in some of my videos, they probably are behind the guys in the front line and they provide, you know, backup and organizational, uh, you know, information and orders. I think that's what they might be. They're not really, that's, as I don't have the evidence, but I'm thinking uh, based on um, certain things that these guys are not going to be the ones that, oh, let's fight. No, the Ukrainians will die over there. We are behind organizing, organizing, going with them, behind them as a backup, you know, and the organ, you know, um, conducting, um, how do you call it, um, retreat or cover up. Uh, this one, I think, if they are doing anything. I don't have the evidence, but we're going to find out uh, sooner or later. Patience, my friends, is a virtue and still is. Despite all this, Kirkby further stated, uh, and I'm quoting, there has uh, been no change to the uh, president's mandate that there will not be American troops in Ukraine uh, fighting in this war, end quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, this is what Kirby tells us. You got to believe the president because he's telling the truth. Okay, are the president's lips moving? Well, sometimes, now you know. Back in February 2022, U.S. President Joe Biden said, and I'm quoting, our forces are not and will not be engaged in the conflict. Adding, again, our forces are not going to Europe to fight 
in Ukraine, but to defend our NATO allies and reassure those allies in the East. Again, uh, if you are to believe a politician, then uh, do it at your own risk. Uh, a lot of things they said, including Biden, and all that changed. Why? Simply changed. I got to know that expression here in the States of America, when uh, someone tells you something and then that doesn't occur and say, hey, didn't we talk about, didn't we agree about that? Yeah, but I changed my mind. What? So for that person, that justification is enough for you to say, okay, oh, all right, okay, I will do the same thing to you. I'm going to fuck you up next time. That's how I feel. And I keep feeling about that. You changed your mind. Why in the hell we bothered to uh, discuss that? Why did we agree? When we make an agreement, like you make an appointment, direct experience, uh, have appointments at uh, the, the doctor, medics, doctors, medics, or a medical appointment. You go over there, there's a whole reason why you have an appointment. Because you schedule your life, your time, you have other things more important to do sometimes than going and see a weasel checking your balls or a nurse uh, winking at you. Okay, you have many other things to do. So you go over there because you have to. You make the appointments because you want to be over there. You stay over there an hour or half an hour and after that you go and do other things. Time is money, remember? But only, it seems like only their time is money. Yours is, that's it. So you go over there and stay over there and they say, Oh, but, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute, I've been here more than, fi no, almost 15 minutes, that's a uh, um, direct example that I give. I've been here almost 15 minutes, I don't give them 15 minutes. What's going on? Oh, well, well, there's kind of backup and so on, and uh, um, uh, the appointment is to have you here so we make sure that, no, the appointment is here that when you said noon, at noon I'm here, at noon you take me, check my balls, and you let me go, because I have many other things to do before seeing your in face and after that okay uh, 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 uh. i didn't talk like that but i said you know what no this appointment i have i lose money while being here this are you gonna pay me 15 minutes already i pay i lose money you lose money why do you think your time is more important than i mine because i came to you well without me you wouldn't exist so what the hell are you talking about uh, uh, uh. and you know what they did like in America, I can't believe that they take it, well, they, they got the crazy out, which is me, they invited me in a room. So I was sitting over there in that room for about 20 minutes as I could have stayed in the, in the lobby, waiting like everybody else. And, but they, they, they calmed the idiot so I don't rock the boat in the lobby. They got me over there in quiet for, uh, um, how do you call it, walls. And then a, a, a nurse came, measured my mm mm mm, my mm 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 mm, mm and said, the doctor will be with you. Uh -huh. And I said, another like 20 some minutes over there. And then when a nurse came, I, I mean, when a nurse came again, um, yeah, you got it. No, I'm leaving right now. Where's the doctor? I'm leaving. I was about to walk out. I got me in a different room and the doctor came and what the hell? I spent about 45 minutes in those two rooms that, that they got me instead of being in the lobby. No, an appointment is an appointment. So anyway, I don't even know where I started with all this appointment shit. But yeah, believing and trusting people. And yes, I tell you this, I tell you that. No, man, don't change your mind. So Biden said many things at the beginning. There will be no uh, weapons going over there. There will be no tanks going over there. There will be no, 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 no. And they're all there. What are you talking about? <sighs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.